Hey guys, Lego Luke 2000 here, and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Rack. It, it, it's just been a little, it's been a little bit, yeah, I, I know, it, it hasn't been nine months. No, 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 it hasn't. It's been like, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a few days. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna start. We're just gonna start. We're gonna ignore all the processes of it's been so long, and we're just gonna get into it. I'll talk a little bit about why it's been so goddamn long. Why am I starting a new game? Okay, we're just gonna get right into the game. Uh, do a little bit of the... Excuse me. We'll catch up on, like, the weird comic cutscene it does, and I'll do my voices, and then we'll get into... Uh, then I'll get into why it took so long. So, you know... Yeah, I just, I just want to get into it to start. I don't want the entire beginning to just be me explaining things. Anyways, so Kane, I'm not going to do different voices for the characters because this is 2018 and I'm not going to be PewDiePie 2012. We're just going to be Luke 2018. So here we go. Kane over here. I made it to the disposal area, but why do I hear monsters everywhere? I thought they'd mostly be in the city. Clearly, I must have gotten their attention. They're surrounding the Hyperion Labs on all sides. Getting through to it won't be easy. Not for him, anyways. Well, Fabian. I hate that name. Fabian? Let's keep going. Oh, shush! Also, Kane, be careful not to fall into any of that toxic waste. Uh-oh. Yeah, otherwise you and Starlin will have fish babies. <laughs> oh, Fabian. What? Uh, I'm gonna go. Alright, hilarious banter. So, we are back here in the land of just great art design. Just wonderful art design. <laughs> That's really the best I can say about this game. Let's get into it. Got more ammo right here. Let's kill these boys. So, let's just start right off the bat, get into it. Why... Why was the break so long between racks? You know, between the two great racks? Why is it taking so long? So, I actually filmed uh, this video, the second episode of this a few months back, but I just hated it. I despised it with all my heart, so much so that I just considered stopping this as a series and never doing it again. <laughs> Mainly because this is a very high-octane game. Oh, look, there's more boys up there. There's a lot of action going on. It's very fast-paced, very gameplay-oriented. And, um, you know, some of my other shows, pretty much all of my other shows, like, uh, Half-Life 2 and uh, Counter-Strike Condition Zero. It's a little more, like, there's still action there, but it's a little more slow pace. so it gives me an opportunity to kind of just, like, the... <sighs> okay, so we are back. Apparently my record button is also the change brightness button. So, um, I guess, I guess that's just how that's gonna be. Anyways, you know, let me let me just sword these people as I miss. Um, okay, what was I gonna say? Yeah, this is a very high octane game, and usually my videos, I play games that are a little more slow paced. So it, it's a healthy mix between gameplay, entertainment, and just commentary and being able to talk about stuff, which I enjoy. But uh, as I was filming the last episode, I noticed 90% of us was like, Okay, alright, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna do this, okay, we're gonna get you, and you, and yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just me going on, j just, just saying bullshit, and being the most uninteresting piece of shit on, in the universe. Like, it was just me uh, talking to the bad guys, and going, Oh, I'm gonna get you, and I'm gonna get you, and oh, I'm gonna get you, aren't I so entertaining? So, um, I, I scrapped that video, and I decided, you know, maybe I won't even go through with this, uh, with this series. But I decided, you know what, let's give it another try today. Let's, let, let's just see what happens. So, um, even though I've already done this, I've kind of forgotten everything I have to do. All I know- what the fuck? Okay, so this game has animations for when you're idle, that's great. Um, I know I have to, like, open these- uh, these crate, crate, these bars right here. So, um, we're gonna go down here first and do whatever dungeon-y quests this area has. Um, I've kind of forgotten everything about the story. I think there's just robots, and they're invading, and that's about as deep as the plot goes. Okay, so get that score. Get. I don't know if that actually helps you, or if it's just a score. 
Um, this is very... I remember there's a big battle here. Oh, Jesus Christ in heaven. That spooked me. Activate. This game is... Oh, God, yep, I forgot about that. This thing fucking murders you. Alright, so you have to kill it. Let me get this armor. No, we're not starting with that. I think you can just take it out this way. Jesus Christ, that thing does a tremendous... Oh, there are two. Okay. There are three! Uh, oh my god. How do you even avoid that? Do you have to jump? Okay, I guess you have to jump. Alright, see, now I, I got you figured out. I got you figured out. Alright, so we're gonna take out these fucking default robot -y people. Jump! See, I'm figuring out. I'm adapting. I'm a human. I have the ability to sense patterns and respond accordingly. Okay, um... Let's get rid of that. So, but, but see, that's kind of what I was talking about. You see, in this little area right here, I was just essentially going, okay, we're going to get you, and you're going to get you. And that's fine sometimes, but that's not what I want for an entire video, because what what would be what's interesting about that? How, how is that my own personal take? How am I applying my personality to a gameplay in order to make it interesting? That's, that's not what I'm doing there. So, um, yeah. Ooh! That's fun. So to talk about this game a little bit more, uh, the last episode of Rack pretty much just consisted of me praising this game and freaking out about how much I loved it. And, uh, ooh, that's, that's fast. On second revisiting, um, on second revisiting, revisiting it to record the second episode that, uh, the scrapped one, that is, I realized that, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I might have been freaking out a little much. There are things that I do really love about this game that I, uh, I did address towards the beginning of this video. It's just, first of all, the art. Like, I just love everything here. It's a beautiful mix of sort of like indie, 3D, um, cyberpunky aesthetic that you'd get with something like Neon Struck. You can just feel the homemade ooze out of this, and that, that's what I really love about it. But, um, I don't know too much, like, the gameplay is fun, but some of the gunplay, particularly the pistol, this thing is weightless. This thing should be given fucking weight loss courses. It is like, it, it, you fire it and you feel nothing. The shotgun has got some weight to it, you know, you can feel a boof there, but this thing... It's like, ugh, it's like you're firing an airsoft gun. It's just got nothing. It's got no weight to it, and I, I don't like it. And, uh, oh, shit, my bad. I do like the sword, though. The sword is probably my absolute favorite weapon. It's a little impractical to use all the time, so that's why I, I kind of just default to the shotgun. But, um, because it, it's mainly that charge there, you know? It's not an instant boof. You gotta, like, click it, and then he pulls it back, and then it goes. So, it's, um... You know, it's not very practical, even though it is definitely the best. I, I wish it was a little more like Shadow Warrior, you know, the original Shadow Warrior game. Not the uh, not the 90s one, but the, the 3D remake that they made back in, like, 2013. Absolutely loved that game, and the sword play in that game was so fucking fun. I swear to God, I could just play that game for hours. So I wish it was a little more like uh, Shadow Warrior in the regard that you just click and it instantly... You know, it just instantly takes dudes out. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go from here. Activate this? Yeah, I activated that. That just kind of, uh... That opened up these boys. Boom, boom. Nothing. Okay. So, it seems the toxic waste doesn't really do anything. It just kind of exists and hurts you. Does this... No, that... Come on, this has got to be something. Is that health? I don't know. Um... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I guess this is the area I missed. Use my weightless little gun. Who is this boy? See, this would be so... Like... Ooh. Ooh! Alright, that's fun. I like that. See that? Yeah, I remember this. There's, like, these dudes up here. Um... Get out of here. Get out of here. 
Uh, enough of you, enough of you, enough of you. Get out of here so that I can stop saying enough of you and fall into the same trap I fell into last video. Not last video, the fucking... See, I can't explain things. I can't be a human. Die. 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 Ooh, that was cool. I got, like, a little combo going on. Alright, so I gotta, like, deactivate these boys. Um... I guess just these buttons? Yes. Okay, so see, we are we are solving the problems. A sector. Um, I don't really know where we are. Like, it's, I guess it's just a toxic waste dump. It's about the extent of the lore knowledge I hold. Uh, I really wish there was an automatic anything, because, I don't know. It's like long range, I am exclusively limited to this shitty little pea shooter. That I hate. Alright, I'm gonna just hope and pray that that's the button to activate the bars all the way back in the place I'm supposed to be. Get rid of you enough. What the? I'm j I have no. Oh! There we go! There we go, C. Got rid of the, uh, yeah, section one and two. Okay. So, will this take us back? Yes. Nice little teleport back here. Okay, we are back. I set the brightness down, so we conquered this little dungeon. Moving on to the next. This kind of reminds me of, like, a Vex survival map for Mind Man. Either I'm playing on extremely low difficulty, or these are the shittiest enemies in the history of video games, because just one little boop, and they're fucking dead. Alright. Ooh, I got an achievement. It's a shame Verizon is currently throttling my internet so I can't see the photo. Okay, I'm just gonna use the sword, the entertaining weapon. Uh, let's get you boys up there. Boop. Okay. So, let's, let's get down, you know, let, let's chill. The lights are low. You know, I put the brightness back on a lower setting, which it's supposed to be. How's everybody doing? We doing okay? That's usually how I start a LEGO League 2000 video. I say, how's everybody doing? And you have no way of responding to me. This is not a live stream. But I like to ask it anyways. I like to ask it anyways. Um... I, I don't get, like, these little rooms. They just have buttons and they open with, like, two little spider boys. It's like every single one of them. Anyways, um, so yeah, how you guys doing? I'm doing alright. You know, that's that's why I always say, how are you guys doing? I say, how are you guys doing, because I have no other way to segue into a conversation about my life. So it's just a s fucking subconscious method of getting on a, onto a topic that's appropriate to discuss myself. Because I'm a vain piece of shit. Fucking get out of here. Anyways, um, I've been doing okay recently. It's been complicated. Um... You know, I'm on my... Just on my cosmic mapping bullshit. Keep doing that. Grinding. It's that grind. Uh, I recently put out a video called Alternate Future of the USA Profile. It's like a little uh, spin-off show of my larger show, which I call uh, Alternate Future of the USA. The whole, I the whole idea is each episode kind of focuses on a little element of the show that, you know, it might be... That either I see some potential in sort of like a little spin-off story about it, or needs more explanation in order to make sense. But yeah, I, I worked on that for a little bit. It was by no means my highest effort video ever. It, it took me about a, a, a week, maybe. But, um... It, it, it did very badly. <laughs> it currently sits at a little under 500... a little under 600 views which is very, very bad for uh, a cosmic mapping video, especially one that's sort of a long-form main content sort of deal like that is. Well, I mean, it's not long-form. It's, it's shorter form compared to my other videos. But, um, 
It currently has less views than, like, one of my podcasts, so I'm a little worried about that. I'm hoping that that won't spell uh, future troubles for the channel. Ugh, burp. I'm having terrible indigestion today. I want to get up here, but I really don't know how, and I really don't want to spend the time to figure out how, so we're just going to move on. Um, let's go down here. God, this map seems to be obsessed with these, like, weird... Oh, I'm out of pistol ammo. That's great. Um, yeah, this map seems to be obsessed with, like, these really aggravating non-linear hallway deals. Like, look at all this shit! I don't wanna... I, I don't wanna... I really just don't wanna. Get out of here. Get out of here. I've had enough. I've had thoroughly enough. Um... Yeah, and then there's more over here. It's like, there's just so much. Okay. I am having fun doing the slicing and dicing, though. That's that's always enjoyable. But yeah, I'm doing that, and uh, I'm hoping that won't spell trouble. Oh, did I do it? Nah, I just opened a little thing. Um, checkpoint, that's fun. Hoping that won't spell trouble for future Cosmic Mapping videos, because I am working on several large videos for that channel. I'm trying to get my main show back up off the ground, which I am just so incredibly excited about. I, I, I'm sure it's alternate future of the world. I am finally planning out season two to that show, and it is it is an orgasmic feeling to be able to finally put to paper all the ideas I've been hoarding for that show over the last two years of not working on it. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting. How do I reload? It has 250... Oh, that's... God, th this game's confusing. That's like how much ammo you can possibly hold on it. Sometimes I just... I just... I don't know, man. Okay, we're gonna do a jump here. Don't die! Okay. And I'm dead. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Do I get more ammo at least? No, I, I, I don't. How do you get over here? Just jump over here. Oh no, I got... You know, I don't have time for your gamer moments, Rack. I don't have time to die and be challenged. Oh, and there goes my fucking frames. That's great! <sighs> okay, well, I jumped over here with this last time, so I'll just try that again. Okay. Oh, and I'm already getting shot at. So I don't even know if I have to go over here. That's the thing. I just know that there are a lot of dudes. Okay, let's get all you out. Um... Like, okay, I, th I think that might just be extra score stuff. Because I... Okay. I just needed... I, I want to get the central... thing. I'm, I'm not a 100% completionist. I just want to go complete the objective, alright? I'm a team player. There is so many guys here. Let me get all this armor. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get off the cosmic mapping stuff because, you know, this is LEGO Loop 2000. We're gonna leave all the mapping at the door. We're gonna talk about some LEGO Loop 2000 stuff. What's going on in the world of LEGO Loop 2000? Um, this rack. We're racking it up. We gotta be in the moment, you know? Can't always be talking about future projects. I'd love to go on and on about my big mouth review I'm trying to get out, or my 10k special on cosmic mapping, but let's just, let's be in the moment for a minute. Let's talk about what's going on right here and right now. There's a lot of dead bodies on the ground, and I don't know what I'm doing. I really wish this game had, like, a map mechanic of, or something, because it is a little confusing, the navigation aspect. Um... I mean, I activated this button, and it played a video of a door opening, but I'm just dumb, so I... Okay. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Let me get this armor. Um, I just got, I gotta find that door. Is it over here? I, I, I'm just dumb. I mean, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, so about five minutes have passed. 
and I still haven't found the fucking door. <laughs> um, yeah, the bars here are still closed. Let me check my stopwatch. How long have we been recording? Oh, too long. This video is going to be like 20 minutes long. I think that's too much for rack, but you know what? We're going to keep going because I'm not a hack. I'm not going to stop the video before I complete the mission. All right. I, I'm just heading the wrong direction right now. I know it's not there because that's where I came from. That's where I activated the button. So it's got to be here. So this... I mean, that's closed. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh. Oh my- and I'm back here. Okay, at least that's activated. Just get through here. I'm, I'm ignoring everyone and anyone in this area because I'm done with this area. I- it has left my consciousness. I don't want anything more to do with it. I don't want anything to do with any of these guys. I'm just gonna run past them. They've all gotten significant screen time. They don't need any more love on my part. So, gotta be careful of this guy. Uh, and I timed it wrong. Okay, there. So we gotta time it right and try not to fall into the lava. Alright, I got him. But now this room's gonna get swarmed with all these fucking peanut gallery assholes that nobody cares about. Uh, pulse cells. Ooh, I did it! I did it! I... I did it! I completed the objective. I really wish I had whatever I pulse... A pulse something... But, um, we did it. We unlocked the dungeons. I think I was a little more entertaining than the draft of this episode that I abandoned. And, uh, let's move forward. Okay, so my veins are just surging with caffeine. And I, I think I drank a little too much Trader Joe's breakfast blend. And, uh, I don't know. I'm not feeling good about it. I'm not feeling, like, energetic caffeine. I, 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 there's a little bit of energy. But it's mainly just ang it's mainly just anxiety. That's all I have. But, um, we are here in what I'm guessing is the final little section. Oh, no, more bars. Okay. More bars to fucking unlock. That's great. Enough of you. Enough of all of you. Yes! A new... Hallelujah! 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 Oh, not hallelujah. Oh, and there go the frames. Uh, my As my batteryless laptop cries. Cries out in mercy. Begging me to stop it. Alright, at least this thing seems to be a lot better at killing these fucking iron giant piece of shits. Than, uh, than the shotgun. So let's just go ahead and shoot these boys. This is a very drunken robot pornography type gun. Uh, that is a very underrated game. Go play it if you haven't. I'm really disappointed in my frames, I gotta tell ya. But I, I am so happy to have an automatic gun. It has been so long since I fired an automatic gun. Um, okay, where are we going now? I killed all the boys. This door is still locked. <sighs> That's great. That's wonderful. That's wondrous. Oh! We did it! We did it! We did it! <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that, once again, I don't think my commentary really fessed up to the uh, to the level I wanted it to be. But I'm gonna go cook some burgers. And I'm gonna eat the fuck out of those burgers, and you know what? I'm gonna feel good afterwards. So, thank you all for watching. Um, we're getting this channel back on track. More videos. Hopefully of higher quality than this one. <laughs> and I will be seeing you guys later. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Check out Cosmic Map and all those other great channels and Electric Productions. And I'll see you in the next installment of whatever the hell I decide to upload on this channel. Cue the fucking outdated outro. I, I love the outro. It's staying forever. Don't try to tell your mama that it's gonna be alright. You'll never explain to your father that the sun shines. That's okay.